welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I have not updated you all in the last two weeks, almost three weeks now, um, but it has just been so busy. So as you probably already know from the title of this video, I have moved to Cornell. So I was living in Oregon and I have flown to the other side of the country during COVID and I am now moved in to my Cornell apartment in New York. So I'm in Ithaca, New York, if you don't know where Cornell is. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I've been exploring the campus um, only a little bit. This is my second day here, so I don't really have my apartment really set up. I could only really take two suitcases with me. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you uh, an apartment tour of kind of what um, an apartment or a townhouse looks like at Cornell. This is Cornell student housing. So most of the people living here are either graduate, PhD, or postdoc students. There are a lot of families. I'm probably one of the only single people living here. It's just because I am a graduate community advisor here. Um, so if you can get a job in residential life highly suggest because they pay for your living. So I just kind of wanted to show you what my new place is looking like, even though it is very rough around the edges now. Um, so I'm just going to turn you around and get started. So right here is my front door and you actually walk into the kitchen. It is kind of a weird layout, but you know what? I'm getting this for free. So this is the Cornell Hasbrook Apartments. Uh, I believe there's about 30 buildings here. Um, mine has uh, basically a full kitchen. So I have my stove, my oven, um, I can wash all my dishes, however I don't have a dishwasher. And then I also have my fridge, which is a great full size. There's all my food. Um, and then you have quite a bit of, you know, places to store your pots and pans in here. However, I just have my one uh, right there. I wanted to get an all pink set, but that's the only one I could find the day I came into Ithaca. So then you go towards your living room. This is the biggest room in this whole apartment. So there's a lot you can do with it. So this place came furnished. Um, so this is not my own furniture. Probably wouldn't be my choice, <laughs> but I'm going to make do. So I did rearrange the furniture. Over here, I did this red couch with a little table in front and a chair. So this is more of a seating area if I have guests over. Over here, I have this desk that is very oddly placed. I did not move this, honestly, just because it is way too heavy for me to move. So I'm just going to leave it there until I can get some help. And then over here, I placed the quote unquote like dining room table um, in front of the window. I really like to be facing a window so I can look outside. Um, however, the view is not the best. Um, so that's why I put that there. I don't really need all these chairs since it is just me, but I have to keep them. So here kind of is my backyard. You can see there's a little table you can eat at. And then this fence is really tall because right behind that fence where all the snow is, it's actually the Cornell golf course here, um, which is really great for me because I do a lot of golfing. So I plan to hopefully be able to golf there. I do have a back door, which is great if I don't wanna use the front door. Um, again, you can see that these walls are cinder block. Not all of them are cinder block, but um, the majority are. So you can see the contrast here. These are cinder block and these are just like a regular wall. There's also, which I found kind of weird, a lot of piping in the Hasbrook apartments, but you know, we make, we make do. And then I have stairs. They are these beautiful wood stairs. It is a little echoey here, which also is, again, a little weird. Um, so when you come up these stairs, I have a two bedroom apartment. So I'll just show you the bathroom first. Here it is. 
it is a little dark in most of these rooms because there is not good lighting. So I'll just turn this on, it will be a little loud. But I have a good sized shower slash bath. Um, and then all of this here, so pretty good, not bad. Um, here is the second bedroom. This is like if you have kids living with you, then this is their bedroom. So there's a twin bed. And then since I've been moving furniture, I just put two little extra side tables there. And you can see out this apartment window at the rest of the apartments or townhouses here. Um, you can see all those bikes because there are a lot of kids here. And then here is my main room, which I have done the most work on. So first you have like this little bookcase, bookshelf thing right here. So I have just organized all of my like hair accessories, my jewelry, a little bag. Um, and then here I put all of my makeup. I have my glasses, which I wear. And then here it's just dedicated to hair. I have my Dyson, which is absolutely amazing. And I've done a lot of videos on the Dyson. I will link up above. And then just some miscellaneous up there. And then I have my shoe storage down here. I only brought like my favorite shoes because uh, I only brought two suitcases to Ithaca with me. Um, so here is my bedroom. I think that this is probably the best view in the apartment so far. So obviously I went with pink bedding. This is silk. And then I did a fur um, for a little, you know, touch of warmth. And I just felt like this room needed something. So I did bring um, that fur and all the bedding with me from Oregon. Um, I then have this just like little side table is actually um, a chest in the second bedroom, but I wanted some more drawers in here to store um, knitwear. So I moved this to my side table with this little lamp. I think that someone might have left this lamp here that lived here before because it definitely does not go with the style of everything else. Um, and on here, I just have a little pouch with all my face masks. And it says, a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous from Coco Chanel, which I love. I also have this little candle, which is just my absolute favorite. I haven't opened it yet, but I plan to hopefully soon. And then here is just a little thing that my friend made me. Um, it's the recipe to a quote unquote Cuban stir fry. It's not actually Cuban, but... Um, it's an inside joke. And then we have a picture of us on the back. So super cute. She made me that for Christmas when I visited her in New York City. And then I have my closet on this side. So there's actually two really big closets um, in this room, which I was very pleasantly surprised to see. So I have just hung up, honestly, the majority of my clothes. I brought almost nothing here because it was just very hard to haul everything by myself. Um, and especially during COVID, it was just a trek. So this is what I'm going to be working with. Just this very curated, very minimalistic wardrobe, which is usually not, not what I have. Um, up here, of course, I brought three different scarves. I have my Gucci, my Burberry, and then my Ace. Um, and then I have two little Hermes things here, my Gucci bag and my Gucci belt. And then over here is the second closet, which again, you can see it's super deep. It goes way beyond this thing here. Um, and you can hang things, but again, I just didn't bring enough clothes. I mean, here I just have a whole bunch of knitwear, all of that. And then I hung up my long chomp bag, which I always use to travel. It's just the absolute best bag to travel with. 
So that's basically the whole apartment. As you can see, I still have a lot to do. This is only my second day and I'm currently in quarantine so I can't really go anywhere to get stuff. And if I like order something online, I can't go and pick it up at my PO box. So I'm kind of just stuck with this for the next week. Um, hopefully it works out. I do have all the necessities um, and I'm just really excited to be at Cornell um, and yeah, this is just, this is going to be so amazing. I'm going to be here for the next seven months. And then if I decide to do my Fulbright, I'll be going to the Czech Republic. If I don't, then I will either be staying in this apartment and we'll have to make it a lot more homey um because of the winters here. They're just so cold. As you can see, there's so much snow outside. Um and if i don't stay here but i like continue at cornell maybe i'll try to find something new but i think for now this totally works i am making do so i just kind of wanted to update you on where i am how things are going i don't start grad school for about another three weeks so i am here early because of my job um which is kind of nice because i can explore campus without having everyone here um and i don't really have to worry about you know catching covid when literally no one is around um so yeah i really hope that you guys liked this apartment tour and if you are looking at the hasbrook apartments you can leave any questions you have down below and i will gladly answer them bye everyone